Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, the white shot dead by cops in Spanish town, teacher missing, 21 arrested, and more. The police are seeking the help of the public to locate a 34-year-old teacher, Rochelle Williams, who has been reported missing. Williams, who is from Joshen District in St. Anne, has not been seen or heard from since Wednesday, September 15. She is of dark complexion, medium built, and is about 5 feet 2 inches tall. Reports from the Brownstone Police are that about 4 p.m., Williams was last seen at a plaza dressed in a blue blouse and a black pants. A total of 21 persons were arrested and charged for breaching the Disaster Risk Management Act in Elsha area of Portmore St. Catherine on the weekend. The arrests were made by officers attached to the St. Catherine South Police Division as they continued their increase in operational activities across the division. The unidentified individuals were charged between Friday, September 17 and Saturday, September 18. Now people, make a show now a video with some persons trying to escape the police. It is said that this took place after the police invaded an illegal party, turned it off and was making an attempt to arrest some of the patrons. Now this is how much Jamaicans love party. Them love round robin and them not left out the bingo party. No matter how the lockdown tight, best believe them are find ways and means for make the party keep. As you can see, we still have parents and neglect them child just for show up at the party. This is way more important to them than them child, than them own family. It is even more important than them own safety. You see how many females you see a skate over zinc fence just because them can't leave the party alone. Nobody now think about them safety again. Them for God say if them drop off at the zinc fence or if them drop off at the old stop, a straight at the hospital them have to go and we're already limited in a bed space already. And most of them where you see a jump and a chuck off a fence, them can't pay for a private doctor, much less for go fill prescription for pain tablets. So yes, of course, everybody are go bungle up down at the public hospital or they are go bungle up at the clinic, the nearest clinic. And then you know it go down a drug search when they forget the prescription. People, a full time now for you start think, stop putting yourself at risk. When you know so enough go on a party, you know stay on the yard. Run Robin can show the same way without party have to keep. Not to mention the fact say when you not hurt on yourself and have to end up at the public hospital or the public clinic, everybody still a go blame the prime minister. Say so the prime minister now do this and the prime minister now do that, and them themselves now play for them part. Me know for sure when you pass a lot of private doctors on a daily basis. I wanna see the line. So just imagine our public hospital or a clinic look on a daily basis. So for instance, if something happened on the road like a shootout or so, and an innocent person get caught in the trap, everybody will come out and ball out so they want justice. And at that point, you know, go find everybody in this world for blame and nobody will go own up to the fact say a curfew, I should have done my yard, or the government say no party at all, not supposed to keep, so I should even have the party in the first place. Yesterday before, you own up to what you do, when you go block the road, and in the middle of the road, a ball out, so you want justice, and who the innocent from who never innocent. Yeah, you know the innocent, but you know the stay off of the road. No. People, if you're interested, you see the full video when the people are run from the police. It was mainly females, though. All you have to do, I go down in the description of this video, where you'll see a link to the CHOP, City Telegram group. Just click on the link, you automatically join the group, and the video will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you're interested to see it, just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV. That is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. Send us a message asking for the link, and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. 
I accidentally reported sometime this morning in the vicinity of Norwood, Montego Bay, serious injuries but no deaths were reported. <laughs> A probe has been launched into the fatal shooting of a man by the police in Spanish Town St. Catherine. 33-year-old Dwight was shot on Friday night off Old Arbor Road. The police say a weapon was recovered. The police reported that about 11.30 p.m., cops were in the area searching for a robbery suspect. Dwight was seen by the police and he reported the brandish and handgun and challenged the cops. The police took action and Dwight was shot during the exchange. According to the police, a Glock pistol containing seven rounds of ammunition were seized from him. He was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The Independent Commission of Investigation are probing the matter. The police had advised a major road closure to be in place in downtown Kingston on Monday to facilitate the trial of alleged members of the Spanish Town St. Catherine Base Clansman Gang. The Jamaica Constabulary Force said the intersection of King Street and Tower Street and the intersection of King Street and Barry Street in Kingston will be closed on Monday, September 20, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. to facilitate the trial of the alleged gangsters in the Supreme Court. Motorists are being asked to obey the police directions on the ground. Some 32 alleged members of the faction of the gang are set to go on trial under what is popular called the anti-gang legislation. The group includes the alleged leader of the friction, Andre Blackman Bryan, for whom efforts were being made last week to get illegal aid representation which had reportedly been secured for all the other gang members heading to court. The trial is slated to become the biggest criminal case ever in both Jamaica and the English-speaking Caribbean. In addition to the motorists, this goes for shoppers, buyers and company owners in that area of downtown Kingston want to stay away from that area. Police will also be on ground for the persons them who never get the information on time. They will be there giving instructions. All on a half a do, I want me on the ears and follow rules. I don't know if you don't comply, you not going to be in serious problems. So me would just advise everybody to go with the flow. And remember, say, the government only had do this for their own safety. Things can get real dusty. So stay away from there. Viewers and subscribers, we have made it to the end of our next video. I would love to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down in the comment section. And remember, everybody's opinion valid. So nobody afraid to leave your thoughts down there. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out.